As of January 2022, Lagos State said it had 2 million out of school children. This is alarming in any case. But when you compare Lagos's number to Nigeria's total 10.5 million out of school children, the alarm becomes even louder. A state renowned for unending traffic and attended traffic robberies, hooliganism, armed robbery, and other life-threatening activities is not limiting these risks to only adults. This is Lagos, and everybody must hustle, not even children are excluded. Young children roaming the streets is not an uncommon sight around Nigeria, but it is not a sight to get comfortable with. It would seem, however, that Lagos is not only comfortable with this sight, but embraces it. The United Nations Children Fund, UNICEF, mentioned in a report recently that even though primary education is officially free and compulsory, about 10.5 million of the country's children aged 5 to 14 years are not in school. Only 61% of 6 to 11-year-olds regularly attend primary school and only 35.6% of children aged 36 to 59 months receive early childhood education. Young children like Esther, who dreams of someday becoming a lawyer, are thrown into Lagos hustle culture by competing with adults for daily meals. Children like Esther are not always orphans or abandoned. In fact, their enterprise is often funded and supported by their parents, who also have to work under excruciating conditions to make a living. The total worth of Esther's granite wares as she tells Human Angle, it's just 4,000 Naira. While it may seem like a small amount, over 40% of Nigerians live below the poverty line of just a dollar per day, which is about 500 Naira. This, sadly, is still higher than the profit Esther makes daily. Esther hopes that reading at home after working will set her on the path to achieving her dreams. But she walks a tightrope. The 12-year-old says she hopes to stop hawking someday. But that seems uncertain for now. 10-year-old Jennifer also sells granuts. Attends a primary school just like Esther. Hawks immediately after school. And like all their pairs that they hawk together, she is at great risk. Traffic robbery continues to rise in Lagos, as does child abuse, with these children being exposed to attacks, assault, rape, bullying, among others. Ritual killings and abductions are also at a record high, with more deaths pervading new spaces. As adults in Lagos risk their lives daily, so do children like Esther and Jennifer. Jennifer's parents, she says, are also involved in the non-stop hustle of Lagos, with her mom being a hawker and her dad being a motorcycle rider. But their economic predicament is still no justification for the lives she and her other siblings, who also hawk, are exposed to. Lagos, unfortunately, is currently not about what should be, but about what is. And these children are the vestiges of this non-stop chaos.